Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a video on uh, B1 Free Archiver, which I came across in the Play Store. Uh, so it's good because it runs on the Android phone, uh, Windows and Mac. I've tested it on uh, Apple Mac, um, Mountain Lion, that works fine. This is Windows 7. I'm going to download it, Free uh, Archiver. It's had pretty good reviews, uh, so I'm going to test drive it and thought I'd share that with you. Um, I've already got 7-zip, but uh, it's um, worth a try. So here we go. Download it from here. Save it. And it gives you the instructions on how to install it. Uh, because I've got another zip program, I'm going to uh, really um, uh, leave the default settings to custom uh, if I see what I mean when I when, when you when we got through the installation so let's check it's finished so let's run it that's for my password admin and um, this is what you get let's clear this close this was that um so read that um i want to integrate extract and create items so integrate extract and create items um to in, uh, into explorer contacts i don't know if you can see that yeah here we go and then the associations i'm going to leave unticked and and um Untick the other one. So um, you can choose to have these two, but I've decided because I'd, I've got already got a seven zip and Vinra. I'm going to leave that so that I can choose with which ones I want to open with. Let's install that. It goes through all this. It may ask. To restart the machine, and in which case I'll pause the video and uh, we'll st come back and do that. What it does is also I've noticed that when you do right click and extract or zip, it allows you to select a folder and also extract it next to the folder where the zip is. So it's um, made it convenient and all that and it says simple and straightforward so it's always good to have new products come along that are improved and uh, make your life better really I'm going to pause the video here for a minute Right, it's uh, come up with a window which is, I don't know if you can see, it's hidden behind the other window um, but it's come up with this one on top and also said to reboot so I've ignored that message and uh, you get this archiver so I'm going to select English and then he says okay guide me through this you've installed the most friendly software to open and create archives and um, this visit will run you through you or also you can skip and continue with default setting what would you like to take a look so let's go through we'll see what it does okay um, default action so you know you can uh, ask me what to do open P and go through that um, you can always read this uh, ask for folder name and extract uh, let's continue and again these are the settings but because I've not associated anything I'm going to leave that as it is uh, and then this is the bit it says um, you can extract here or extract to so if you look at uh, Uh, 
um, that one uh, extract it or extract to and you can use a, a folder of your choice it's pretty good and I think it also gives you you can um, select a password as you want so extract it goes through destination folder wait for a while all he does is zipping and archiving and then you know you can do a password so it's pretty good and I've tested it with a password in Mac and um, I've used the program on another uh, with a 7-zip on Windows with the same password and he opens it so it's, it's good I like where you can actually use interchange with different machines and therefore it, you know it's, it makes a universal sort of thing uh, you can choose the B1 archive or the zip and you can split archives and yeah so it's, it's, that's it really so this is what you get I'm gonna um, close that and um, yeah see what you think um, you've got a help section um, and obviously that talks you through what to do which is the same thing um, I'm gonna restart the machine but uh, um, uh, because this is the message you get, your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation. Before, how do you want to reboot now or reboot later? So I'll do that uh, now, and um, and well, I'll do that later and finish that and um, and see what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.